Today I'm going to go over global warming very briefly and also the idea of biological magnification. So what biological magnification is, is the idea that organisms at higher levels at the food chain, or trophic levels, have greater concentrations of toxins in their bodies when compared to those at the bottom of the hierarchy. So in this picture, we see a bunch of different organisms at different trophic levels and the impact that PCBs, which are man-made organic chemicals, and the pesticide DDT has had on them. So at the lowest level, phytoplankton, we'll say that there's a concentration of 0.025 parts per million of chemicals, but this exponentially increases as we climb higher through the hierarchy. 0.1 at zooplankton, 1.04 at smelt, 4.8 at trout, and finally, 124 at the herring gull. This is because as organisms get eaten by other organisms, the toxins accumulate and become more concentrated. PCBs were banned and DDT was actually banned because it was found that DDT interferes with the deposition of calcium in eggshells, and this problem caused a lot of the eggs to, to break open and the bird population to decline. Finally, we're going to talk about global warming, even though it's a simple subject. As more greenhouse gases accumulate in the atmosphere, they trap more heat inside the earth. This can lead to habitat loss, extreme weather, and other detrimental effects. You won't need to memorize the effects that global warming will have for the AP exam, but you will need to practice predicting the effects that one area in the ecosystem will have on another. Alright, that's basically it for toxins in the environment. Thanks for watching and be sure to comment any questions that you have. Hope to see you soon on Tangerine Education.